Hey guys, how's it going? I am the Conflict Nerd. Hello and welcome to Conflict Nerd Plays Overgrowth. So, Overgrowth is a game by Wolfire Games, and it's kind of difficult to explain what it is because it's in alpha, and I have no idea what it is. I saw a video of someone playing this game and thought, dear god, I need to play this because it looks freaking awesome, but I have no idea where this game's going, where the development's going, and I have no idea what they plan to do with it. The purpose of today's video, however, is to show off what they have done with it so far. So, let's jump into Red Shards. So right here, I am this rabbit-looking fella. He looks like a rabbit because he is a rabbit. You can run around, of course, you can jump, and you can also do a little bit of the old free running, which is always fun, isn't it? There we go. We'll climb up, oh, bugger. We'll climb up here, and we'll show you something else, shall we? So let's make our way up, being careful not to fall, because that will end very badly and very... It's a violent game. That's something I should point out. The game is... It's, it's violent. There's something I'll show you in a little bit that I... If you're squeamish, it may kind of upset. It's not necessarily gory, it's just, it's kind of disturbing. So you might want to be careful with that. Let's jump over here, and boom, there we go. Alright, lovely. As you can see, physics in effect there, they do work really well. If you're one of the if you're someone like me, and you actually like to see how these things work, you can hit tab, and the game will go into slow motion. And you can actually see the physics at work. Of course, a little bit buggy. It is an alpha, and to be honest, you know, you're not really meant to play in slow motion. That's just an added bonus, really, so with the foot going through the ground there, just ignore that. It still looks bloody awesome. So let's roll into slow motion and land pretty well. Something you can do, since it's an alpha, is if you hit Z, you'll fall over. If you hit N, you fall over with a crunchy noise. And if you hit M, you fall over with no phys- well, sorry, with no AI. So as you can see, with M, I have no AI when I fall over. With Z, it's as if I've been hit. Same with N. Alright. Speaking of being hit, there's an enemy down there somewhere. I don't think I'd be able to make that jump, but I'm going to try it anyway. Because nothing this may kill me. No, I'm alright. Okay, I've got no idea where I am and where that enemy was, but we can find him. That's no problem. I think he is going to be around here somewhere. There he is. Right, so there's also combat. The game has some fantastic combat that you could probably compare more to the Batman Arkham games. Alright, this guy's going to run at me and probably jump up here. I don't think so. Ooh. Alright, so this is combat, as you can see. Am I dead? No, I'm not. Why am I not moving? There we go. Alright, lovely. Let's kick him. Come on. Right. Oh! Oh! Son of a gun. Right. There we go. He's dead. You can move bodies around if you so desire. But something that is very, very good fun is, uh, is this. If we hit retry, select this guy. I'll show you this in a second, but we select the character again. Run at the enemy. And hit tab. You can fight in slow motion. It's kind of bloody awesome. Because you see the physics at work again. Which I absolutely adore. They block that attack. Alright, let's try and kick him again. Or knee him, that works too. He's not having any of it. Oh, oh! I got him that time. And again, and he's dead. Right. Okay, so that was an example of fighting, which, as I said, is so much fun. It really is. Fights in this game can last anywhere from a few seconds up to a few minutes. You can have it over 10 minutes. You can have them as long as you want, really, if you want to run about. It's, it really is up to you at the moment. Again, not quite sure where the game's going. There is a link below if you want to read up on it, but I've got no idea where it's going at the moment. I don't know what they plan to do with it. 
Anyway, into a little bit of fun with the physics. Let's slow things down. As you can see, we hit the wall. If I hit Z, I will fall out of control. The game does occasionally freeze, but I wouldn't worry too much about that. And boom, I'm dead. Broke my neck. Something you don't tend to do in this game is just die because you took X amount of damage. That's not really how it works. You die if you actually injure yourself to a degree that would kill you. So breaking your neck, breaking your back. I know breaking your back doesn't necessarily kill you, but in terms of... Uh, oh, oh, you dirty bugger. In terms of uh, walking and fighting, breaking your back is kind of not good. There we go, he's dead. So as you can see, it, there is a degree of, hey, let's do this much damage and kill him. But it's also, hey, you landed on your neck from a 20-foot fall. That's that's not really all that good. So, for example, hit tab, hit Z, and, you know, I'm, I'm going to take a bit of damage from this. But it won't kill me because I land on my feet. I could run along this wall a little bit, hit that, spaz out, and break my neck. And I'm dead. That's how it works. Fortunately, I can spawn right back in with the number keys. Hitting three will give me this character. Hit two. Hit one. Four gives me this guy. Five will give me this guy. Who, again, no idea what they're doing with this, but you can be a wolf if you so desire. Six will give me the little big planet rabbit. Seven gives me something a little bit creepy. Uh, yep, yeah, that's a weird looking cat. It gives me the Assassin's Creed bunny. So we'll stick with this guy because I quite like him. Okay. What I want to show you now is the kind of really disturbing bit. It's disturbing to me. It's, it's unpleasant to watch because the AI has done pretty well on this and the whole animation thing has done pretty well. So if you hit on your key to the right on your keyboard, to the right of M you have the... Uh, comma thing with the little backwards arrow on it. Right, if you hit that button, you're gonna do this. Now, I know that's not all that gory, but that's just disturbing. That really is just a little bit disturbing. It's just... It's unpleasant. I, I don't enjoy watching that. It's a little bit weird. As well, especially since you can actually see that the um, the character is uh, uncomfortable, shall we say. He's not having the best of time. Anyway, what I want to show you now, if I just go in and retry, is this. This is effectively a map editor. If I select that, I can get rid of it. I can move it up and down. I can have it floating. I can put it wherever I want. Same with this one. It is exactly the same. I could have it angled. I could move it up and down. So yeah, map editor. Pretty good. What you can also do is load an item. So I am going to load in the bastard sword. And my character will pick it up automatically. I'm also going to load in one for this guy. And just see what happens, really. So, I wonder if he'll pick that up. He will. Good. I don't know if that applies the same way as the Bastard Sword, but we'll see if he uses that as a weapon. I could also spawn in another character and let these two fight to the death. And by fight to the death, I mean this guy's going to kick his ass because he has a sword. Yeah, there you go. That's, that's that over. It's kind of that simple. So let's select my rabbit, and I have a sword, a very big sword, and we'll see what happens. I have a funny feeling I'm going to die, but uh, we'll chuck this into slow motion. We'll have a little bit of fun with it, and see if I can get the first slice off. Oh, oh, it got me. And that's that. That's the way sword fighting works. Easy. Son of a bitch. I am cat! <laughs> uh, that's kind of wonderful. I don't want this. Get out of here. I want his sword. Lovely. That's what I want. Right. 
Let's hit retry. Oh, that was nasty. Let's run at this guy and see if we can take him out. Come here, you bugger. Lovely. No problem at all. You can, if I'm not mistaken, also throw your sword. I'm not quite sure why that's not working, though. No, I just, I can't seem to throw it. I have no idea why that's not working, but, uh, that's fine. That's completely fine. However, what I want to show you next is another level. And it'll be my last thing to show off from the game, because there's really not much to it. It is, it is what you see. But the level I want to show off is a great deal of fun, so let's go ahead and do that. Alright, so welcome to the Eroded Plateau. This is a great deal of fun for a couple of reasons, but the main one is that there's a pretty heavily skilled opponent in here. There he is. Hey there, buddy. He's, he's a good fighter, as you can see. He just totally kicked my ass. Oh, bloody hell. Get out of here. I will destroy you, my good man, or my good rabbit. Let's pop over here and see if we can confuse him a little bit. Come on, try it. Get out of here. There we go, that's him dead. No problem. That took 42 seconds. So, it's very basic, but it's such a great deal of fun. I mean, something you can do that's just so silly is run at this wall, jump, hit Z, and break your neck. And that's me dead. It's so stupid. It really is. It's such a stupid thing, but it's just so much fun. You know, just... It's a physics playground, really. It's something I've been looking for for a really long time, and it's here. It's a physics playground with with good combat, and... I really like it. <laughs> I really, I really, really like it. You know, you can have such a great deal of fun just playing around with the physics of the game. You know, climb up here. Climb up on this. Jump and ragdoll. And just see what happens. You know, you break your neck, break your back. It, it's, it's nasty. It's not necessarily child friendly. But let's be honest, no one cares about being child friendly on the internet. It's just silly fun at the moment, and I'm really interested to see where the game goes. I think if you really love rabbits, you're not going to enjoy this. You can play as the, the, this guy or the cat. If you don't like cats, you can play as him. Because he's got all the same physics. It's exactly the same. It's a little bit derpier looking. The tail sort of spazzes out, but you can kill the cat if you want. You can kill this guy. You could kill the wolf as well. As you can see, he's a little bit bigger. The uh, the animation for the wolf is exactly the same as it is for the rabbit. So, currently it looks a little bit derpy. But I wouldn't worry too much. You can still do everything with the wolf that you can do with the rabbit. That sounded a little bit weird, but uh, just ignore that last statement. There we go. Break the wolf's neck and switch into Sack Boy. Where is he? There he is. Nope. There he is. Lovely. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is... Uh, that is overgrowth. There's not really much more to it at this point. I just broke the neck of a this fine fellow. Yep, overgrowth, folks. That's pretty much it. Nothing else to show off. It's a physics playground. It's a great deal of fun. There's a link below if you want to check it out. I would really recommend it. If you pay £20 or $30, you get this. You get low light combat, I think it's called. And you get another game that I can't remember the name of. I believe it is Receiver, if I'm not mistaken. So, 20, 20 pounds will get you all of that. Not all that bad. They're all from Wolfire. They're all pretty decent. I don't really think any of them are finished. And I'm pretty sure Low Light Combat was made during the Mojam. So, it's not really... I, I don't expect much of that. But all in all, good purchase. It's worth it even for overgrowth on its own. I've been the Conflict Nerd, and I will see you next time. I just broke my neck. Great. I'll see you next time.